Blair Two, you were trimming, doing flight control on the AC-75 today, Emirates Team New Zealand boat. Um, flat water and we measured seven to eight, maybe nine knots of breeze. Was that what you were looking for today? Yeah, beautiful day out there, Saturday here in Barcelona. Um, yeah, we wanted to get out there and uh, had those two really nice sort of mid-range conditions earlier in the week, so we wanted to get another light one this, uh, for this week and managed to do that. But yeah, like you say, really, really flat water, so um, yeah, a, a nice change up from the conditions we'd sailed the AC-75 in, uh, in August, July. I saw the mainsail go up and down a couple of times today. Before you got out there, you put it up, then brought it down again, and then once again, once you're out there, was there a problem? Yeah, the guy in the middle. <laughs> um, yeah, not too much of a problem, but just uh, yeah, had a couple of people in different roles, um, which didn't didn't go. Um, yeah, but anyway, all, all good. Yeah, so resolved no, and got sailing. No issue with the, but no issue with the boat, the nah, sail. No. Okay. Personnel. In those light conditions, in when you're in trimming mode, how are you dealing with shifts and gusts and lulls in the breeze? We all know how to do that in in a dinghy when your, your head is out of the boat but you're wearing goggles and a helmet, how do you, how do you assess that? Oh, it's much the same, you're still looking for the darker parts on the water and um, you know when there's uh, shifts in the, the pressure, especially in that lower end, it makes a huge difference to the boat speed or the VMG of the, of the, of the boat, so you're really trying to sniff that out and um, yeah that's, I mean we're coming into a pretty critical period now where we're you know one year out from the match period, so it's important that we're sort of out there, uh, you know, as often as we can, and trying to get a feel for the conditions. And um, yeah, today, like you said, uh, right, sort of bottom, not full bottom end, but um, towards that way. And it was, uh, you know, team did a good job. Uh, you know, since we haven't been sailing that much uh, recently, of, of sort of yeah, getting the most out of the boat and um, and putting it into a couple of different, uh, yeah, trying different techniques and, and different manoeuvres to try and get the most out of it. How do you mode the boat differently as a trimmer in those conditions to the days we've seen earlier in the week when it's been windier? Well, no, it's, much, it's still the same as any, <laughs> any boat. You're trying to get the most out of it, sail it accurately. Um, and yeah, the, the, all, all the team did a good job of that. So it's not, you know, it's not a huge difference. You obviously got probably a little bit more um, time at the bottom end of the foiling conditions. Um, so that takes a little, little bit more uh, sort of effort to keep the boat up on the foils uh, compared to the stuff the other day when you're going right top speed, um, that's not obviously not the issue. You mentioned this is going to be the, the cup conditions a year from now could be like this. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting, isn't it? Because even in just this week, we've seen some very different um, conditions. Difficult for the designers to design a boat for, for that range of wind. Yeah, it's pretty exciting though, isn't it? That, um, you know, that Barcelona sort of um, serves up all, all different conditions, so you know, we're excited by that, and um, you know it's been good to have a, a taste of it um, this week. You know, on the wind speed side of things, obviously the water's been uh, really flat all week, uh, but had a wide range of conditions on the wind speed. So happy with the week? Yeah, all, all in all, a really good week. Uh, you know, first week back on AC75. Nice to have the full full crew back with us. Um, yeah, everyone's doing a great job, and looking forward to you know a big push over the next month. Thanks, Blair. Awesome, thank you. All right, let's get oh. off.